What's up guys? This is your boy Russian and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. And today is day two. So you're probably wondering what should I be doing day two? Well, day two is very important because you're going to be working on leveling, getting your levels up, getting enough XP, get as much XP as you can. And how to do that? A couple of things you need to be working on your achievements, your daily quests, your weekly quests and your monthly quests. Now, as you work in your daily quests, you will be completing your weekly and monthly. Your advanced quests will not be open at this point. They only open uh, in a higher level. So don't worry about them. Now, dailies, if you complete all dailies five times in a row, or not five times in a row, but five times, you get a free ancient chart. What's gonna help you a lot. The second thing you're gonna be trying to do is get your main character, your main champion to level 40. How do you do that? You should have been able to acquire enough mystery charts to pretty much go to the tavern and sacrifice those champions. Level then, get the rank two champions to rank three, use them as food. You need three rank three food champions to be able to feed Kael, for example, to get to level 40, or I mean rank 4, and then use your XP brews to actually get him to level 40, or simply go to campaigns and level him up. After doing that, try to complete as many missions and challenges as you can, and also try to get as many stars on campaign. The reason for that is, by completing as many as you can, it will give you gems. Your number is 900. You want 900 gems to be able to go to the shop, to the gem shop, and exchange 900 into 10 ancient charts. The reason why you want this is because ancient charts have the chance to give you rare, epic, and legendary champions. Now, it's very hard to get legendary champions uh, right away. There is a mercy system in the game that will give you after about 200, it, it's a guarantee to give you a legendary, but chances are you're probably gonna hit an epic here and there if you do that. Now, one thing you guys probably wondering is how do I know which champions to keep, which ones you use for food? So I'm gonna give you a couple of places to go if you don't know the champion, if you haven't seen him before, and if you should keep or not. And first of all, you should go to hellhades.com. It's a great website. Uh, he's a great YouTuber, uh, really good content, mostly for end game. But on his website, it pretty much, if you put the name of end champion, it's going to give you all the stats, going to give you a rating for the, going to give you a rating for the character. And if you should or not keep him and where you should use this champion and everything else. Also, what gear you should put in the champion and what stats you should prioritize. Now, another thing to pay attention is that you guys are going to be having a lot of tournaments uh, going on. Check on them. Also, check on the summoning portal because a lot of times you may have extra chances to get champions using different charts. So if you have them, that's the time to use. In the beginning, you're usually gonna use a lot of them um, just for using, just to try to get champions. But sometimes if you wait a day or two, you may get extra chances, like two times chance to get certain champions. So hold the charts as long as you can until you actually have a better chance to get your champion. So that's something to pay attention. Usually you get on the news, but also the moment you see the portal, changing colors, sometimes purple, sometimes uh, yellow. That usually cues you that something's going on. You just need to click in the portal and they will have all the information about what's going on as an event for charts. And before I forget, I should not have to stress as much. Fight in the arena as much as you can. The most day two, every time you have the coins for the arena, go in Get as many points as you can on the arena because you will eventually need that for the middle to end game. It really helps upgrading your stats in the Great Hall. So it's something you can do every day. It's free. Every, I believe, half an hour you get another uh, coin to be able to fight in the arena. So not a bad thing. And work in as many as, uh, as a quest you have 
as the challenges and everything. Just get that XP and try to level your champions as much as you can. See where you can get now by the campaign. Try to get those gems. Try to get up to 900. You should be very close to that by the end of day two. And that's pretty much it, guys. So day two, it is a bit of a grind, but it's just to try to get you up as much as you can. So when the challenge is actually open, you should be fine. Uh, the, Nocif, the Novice tournament should be done by day two. Now, no new tournaments going to show up for at least a day, but they have to be starting after the, uh, the moment that the Novice tournament disappears from your queue. So it will take a couple of days and you're going to be able to get to the regular tournaments. So until then, patience, if you see on the news, there's a tournament. It may suck, but you guys may not be able to access. So yeah, that's about it for today. And I'll be here back tomorrow. Hope to hear from you guys and have a great day.